being the best comes at a price. And LeBron James has had a roller coaster ride of a career that has been littered with minor and major feuds with many NBA players. So brace yourself, because today we brought you NBA stars who hate LeBron James. And to begin the list, we have a guy who has a problem with everyone, but on the top of his list is LBJ. I mean, what Kevin Garnett did to LeBron, it was ruthless. He made the king leave the Cavaliers. Holy guacamole, now that's shocking, isn't it? Well, in 2010, the Celtics annihilated the top-seeded Cavaliers in the Eastern Conference semifinals. This didn't go well with LBJ. A few years later, he admitted that playoff loss to Boston was one of the deciding factors in his move to Miami. And Garnett himself said that he didn't like LeBron. He had a history of trash talking and hard falling LeBron for years. And and the king was also pretty aggressive, as he added fuel to the fire by trash talking back to KG and the Celtics. Damn! But this is how the NBA is. And speaking of the next guy, Steph Curry and King James seem pretty close. Steph has even implied that he has no beef for rivalry with King James, yeah! But guys, this statement is as diplomatic as it gets, because in reality, Steph doesn't like LBJ, and their in-game trash talking and brawls are enough proof. Bruh. They're like arch rivals competing with each other. In addition to this, these guys have met in the finals four times, with Curry winning two of them. So yeah, it gets a little complicated here. But well, it's better than what went between LeBron and Joachim Noah. These lads have history. Joachim has always had issues with the king. It has been to an extent where both of these guys can tolerate each other. Maybe Joachim hates LBJ? Well, you never know. Among many things, Joachim definitely knows how it feels to lose to King James in the NBA. And trust me, it's not cool. These guys came face to face in 2009. LeBron started dancing on the sideline during this game as his team was up by 20 points in the fourth quarter. It didn't end here. He then took an exception and began to walk towards the Bulls sideline, where Noah was seated before a few of his teammates met him. The two continued to jive at each other before the game went on. And then, back in the 2015 NBA playoffs, Joachim and LBJ were on to each other once again. Oh, but at least Joachim wasn't as unhinged as Draymond Green, because this guy was insane and he got a little too personal, going down as one of the most controversial players in the NBA. Draymond went full hardcore on LeBron James. He made fun of the Cavs and insulted the players including LBJ. And the king didn't forget. In 2016, he trolled the Warriors with a Halloween decoration, flexing Cavaliers 3-1 lead. But in 2017, Green got back when he wore a short that had the name of Cleveland's old arena. And this rivalry is evergreen, just like our next one, Lance Stevenson. It goes back to the 2014 NBA playoffs when Lance blew into James's ear. But yeah, King had the last laugh because he won. And before this, Stevenson made a choking sign toward LeBron during a live game when he missed an opportunity. And this was insane. Maybe he wanted LBJ dead? Damn, man! But then comes the story of a guy who once was like a little brother. And you do know that best friends make the worst enemies. Back in the days when Chalmers moved to the hits, but this didn't end nicely, as he ended up somewhat of a punching bag. Jesus Christ! During his stint with Miami, he was yelled at or scolded more than any other NBA player. This got so bad that he and King James almost got into a fight while on the bench during a timeout. At this point, Chalmers dislikes LeBron so much that he won't even say LeBron's name anymore and refers to LeBron as that guy. With that, I think we should take a picture, uh, but we should make it quick uh, before one of these guys starts yelling at Mario. <laughs> I mean, 
And sometimes it's just a bad pass, guys. It's not Mario's fault. No. <laughs> Well, we have another player who doesn't like LeBron because of his disrespectful behavior. How strange this relationship became back when they were teammates. According to Delonto West, LeBron helped him out when he was going through a rough path. It seemed like they had developed a close friendship, but this friendship didn't have a happy ending. For years, there have been rumors swirling around West, including one involving the King's mom and a possible relationship she had with West. Oh god, now that's nasty! Who does that? But well, the rumors were denied. And then comes enemy number one. No question here. Pierce has gone on a record saying I can't stand LeBron or any of the young generation of the NBA. For years, Pierce and James battled in and out of the playoffs. There have been a lot of very hard and even questionable falls, a lot of trash talk and a lot of near brawls between these two. No no matter what teams they are on. So yeah, the beef is real. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more interesting content, please dunk on that subscribe button. And don't hate, spread love. Till next time, it's goodbye.